Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Holy cow, look at this. I'm under, I was, what? Oh my gosh, I thought that our entire raft was in the sky. It, it, it was, our entire raft was just in the sky. Look at this, we're bouncing all over the place. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to raft. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Last time we played the normal, uh, normal mode, right? Where you have to survive and you have to collect stuff and do all that fun stuff. Today, I want to try creative mode because it sounds awesome. We essentially have unlimited resources, which is going to be so cool. We're not going to have friends join us because we have no friends. That uh, That's a stark reminder. Anyways, create world. Let's play some raft, but in creative mode this time. And I have a couple of ideas that I kind of want to try here. We're going to do some experimenting with with some of the mechanics here in Wrath. There's something that I really want to try, but first, let me show you guys what we can do. I mean, we can do anything, basically. We have unlimited resources, so as you can see, I can make this raft as big or as uh, tall or as wide as I'd like it to be, which is awesome. So now, my idea requires an island, and I don't know if islands actually show up in creative. I sure hope they do. The shark shows up in creative. I don't know if he actually attacks us, but he's here, so that's always fun. He's here to keep us company. Uh, we also have paint. Like, is that for real? Oh my gosh. And you have all these different colors. This is, this is awesome. So I could, I could do like my logo. Could I do a kindly key and raft? I totally could. Wait, was there white? I don't, wait, what, white. Oh my gosh, I totally could. Orange and white. We could do a big old orange raft and then do white Ks. Two white Ks be my logo. Oh my gosh, we got to do that. We have to do that. Okay, but before we get too carried away, I want to look at some of the things that we actually have access to now that we can basically build anything that we want. Uh, before, we were very limited because you have to research items now. You have to research stuff and get them, and then you can actually make them. And of course, you have to get the resources to make them. Look at how much stuff there is in this game now. This is insane. A calendar? Just make sure you know what day it is. You don't want to lose track of, of the day. Chair clock, lantern, that's not new. Shark trophy, that's interesting. <laughs> you can remember how you murdered the shark. Uh, we also have a sail, which is really cool. I have no idea how this works. Let's try it out. I guess we'll kind of put it on the center of the raft. I mean, that makes the most sense. This, what? This is so cool that you can open it up. I assume that we move faster now that the sail is, is down. I don't know. R to rotate. Oh, look at that. That is so stinking cool. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how much they've added to this game. This is amazing. Now, you probably saw that we also have underwater gear, which means we can go underwater and you can actually explore like the water below you. That's so stinking cool. I really want to try that, but we're going to need a weapon. We should give ourselves a weapon here. So we're going to do that. Binoculars? Sure, why not? A metal fishing rod? I don't need that. We don't have to worry about our health or our food or any of that stuff. We got a scrap hook. So it's a much better hook than the one that you start out with. That's pretty sweet. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Oh, the collection net. I know we were talking about that in the last episode. I wasn't sure if they had taken it out. It looks like it's still here, but it's something that you have to research. So that is interesting. A bird's nest? So you can get eggs? Yes, you can get eggs, cook them up, scramble them. You get scrambled eggs in the morning in the middle of the ocean. That is brilliant. I love it. And a scarecrow because because why not? We're going to we're going to make a scarecrow. I'm going to rotate him, put him like that. He's going to stand at the front of the boat. Boom. Look at that. He's our friend. He's our only friend along with the shark. Hello, shark. It's good to see you again. Okay, can't help but notice that there's no islands. I'm getting a little bit worried, but we're going to give it some more time. And in the meantime, we're going to explore more of the items that we have. What is this dot, dot, dot? Oh, these are just random things that you can like spawn into your inventory. The scrap mechanic duck. We hunted that guy down in the previous version of Raft and we were able to find him. Now you can just create him from nothing. A lucky cat too. That's pretty cool. I love it. You get all the seeds and stuff. Uh, these options, I assume, are specific to creative mode because you can't just conjure up seeds in the standard mode. It doesn't work that way. A battery? What in the world do you use, use to power electrical machines? What electrical machines do we have? A smelter? 
Is the smelter electrical? Oh, you know what? The radio. Yeah. The receiver and the antenna. I wonder if these are like end game things. These are things that actually get you off of the raft. Like, is that how you win? You get people's attention using a receiver and an antenna? I don't know. This is crazy. It's almost overwhelming to be honest with you. Look, an island. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. I'm very happy about this. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We need an anchor because I want to stay next to the island to execute this idea of mine and I will explain it to you here very very shortly. Where's the anchor? There's the anchor. There's a there's a one use anchor and there's a big old stationary anchor. Let's try that. Oh my gosh, this thing is enormous. Okay, uh we're going to have to add on to our raft a bit to make this work. Please 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 don't please don't leave me island. You're my you're my only friend along with the scarecrow right now. Please. Here we go, here we go. Okay, uh, wait, no, 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 island. Island, don't leave me. Don't leave me, island. Please, stay, stay. We should really put the sail away, shouldn't we? I think that's why we, we didn't stick around for very long. Can I, can I fold that up? Okay, good. Oh man, I messed that up. I messed that up real good. Here, let's make sure that our anchor is working properly. Let's just give ourselves a little bit more space to work with here on our kindly key and raft. Kind of ruined my whole plan with the uh, the big K's in the middle of the raft. I, uh, I added a whole bunch of stuff that gets in the way, but we'll just ignore that for now. This is where we wanna be, an island. Why, you ask? Well, something that I wanted to try, since we do have endless resources, is can we encapsulate an island in raft? Basically build a raft all the way around the island and forcing ourselves to be like attached to the island or like making the island a part of our raft. Although I don't think the island is gonna move anywhere, but I'm wondering if we can just stay anchored to the island by building around it. We're basically doing an episode of Mythbusters here in Raft. So I wanna see if this works and uh, if we can get away with it. So I'm gonna build a raft all the way around this beautiful little island. And if it works successfully, the island is ours. It belongs to us. Don't you know that's the rules of the ocean, of the sea? If you build a raft around an island, it becomes yours. Yeah, that's the way it works. Look it up. That's not true. It's honestly just gibberish that I'm speaking right now. This is a nice little island, if I do say so myself. And hopefully, in a moment or two, it'll be mine forever. Now, I don't know if, like, the raft will break by bumping into the island. So once we take the anchor off, it's gonna be interesting to see if this thing stays in place. I, this is so weird that you can do this, and if it works, it's gonna be even weirder. But I'm very excited by it. Let's go. We're almost there. It's almost fully connected. All right, and then let's just fill in this space just because we can. Okay, there we go. I think that we've gone all the way around the raft. Let me just make sure that there's no gaps anywhere. It's looking pretty good. Let's fill this in a little bit. Let's like double side it. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's an abandoned raft out there. Interesting. I wonder if we could build to the abandoned raft and add it to our empire by encapsulating it. I don't know, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's just see if this actually works. Okay, so I'm gonna raise the anchor and uh, we're, okay, we're definitely moving. You can hear it right away. The whole raft is moving, but I think it's staying in place. <laughs> I think it's, it's a part of the island or the island is a part of our raft. Depends on how you wanna look at it. This is, Awesome. We have claimed this island as our own. Look at it, it's moving around, but it's not going anywhere. We are anchored to this island. This is hilarious and awesome. I love this game. What is this? A blue flower. Interesting. I wonder if that's for paint. Maybe. Or maybe you can just eat flowers. I don't know. But this island is now mine. Oh no! Raft! Ra Raft? Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Did you see that? It like twisted like 45 degrees. 
That was scary. I thought the raft was gonna leave us. But as far as I can tell, it looks like everything's in place and it's not going anywhere. I just wanna make sure that the raft doesn't break. I don't know if the pieces take damage by bumping into the island and if eventually they'll just break free and then the whole raft will float away. Pineapple, hmm, don't mind if I do. I'll take some pineapple. This game is so stinking cool. It was already cool. Like, don't get me wrong, the beta, or the prototype that they made was already awesome. And the fact that they've added this much to the game in a year is just unbelievable. This game is so stinking cool. If you haven't tried it, please try it. It's a very, very good game. Okay, so we managed to create an island raft or a raft island, I don't know. Like I said, it depends on how you wanna look at it. Is the raft a part of the island or is the island a part of the raft? Who cares? It's mine. They're both mine and they will be mine forever. So here's the next question. Can we build out to that abandoned raft? Essentially creating a bridge, and actually, that gives me another idea here. What if we could span the gap between two islands? How amazing would that be to basically have a bridge that connects two islands in the middle of the ocean and build our empire off of that. I don't even think we'll be able to see the islands from each other if this actually worked, but the idea of it seems ridiculous and awesome. So I think we're gonna have to try that. But first, let's start off small and let's make our way out to that abandoned raft out there and we'll make it our own. I think I kind of have to go like diagonal. And also actually, now that I think about it, we should make a bed so that we can do this in the daytime because as I understand it, not that I've actually done it before, but if you sleep in a bed, it makes it daytime, just like Minecraft basically. We have a hammock. Does the hammock require like trees? I'm gonna build it just to see what the hammock is like. Let's get rid of this stuff, just put this in our inventory and let's see oh uh, oh okay okay so it doesn't require a tree i was kind of hoping that you could build two trees and then put the hammock in between it that would be pretty sweet it's got built-in trees basically so that's good okay let's lay down and wait for daytime is it daytime it is daytime all right pretty sweet so let's oh shark hello you're just swimming through my raft okay that's normal okay let's continue our adventure down to the abandoned raft. And I don't, I've never actually been to one of these abandoned rafts before. So I'm actually pretty excited to see what it's like. Like what are they for? Is it just resources? Is that basically all you get from abandoned rafts? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Almost there. And you know, I can't help but feel like the game is kind of slowing down and uh, it kind of scares me. Yeah, every time I place a piece of the raft, it, it kind of chugs a little bit, yeah. There's like a slight delay that was not there before. Ooh, this is scary. This is getting spooky. I don't know if the game's gonna crash. That's a, uh... oh my gosh, it's getting worse. I thought it was bad before. It's, yeah. Okay, this could be interesting. Uh, let's encapsulate the raft. I, I don't think we can attach it. Nah, no, we can't attach it. Hey, come back here. Where, where are you going? Come back, it's floating away. No, stop, stop, stop. You're a part of my raft now. I own you. These are the rules of the ocean. I didn't make them up. I absolutely made them up, but these are the rules, okay? Yes, we've captured an abandoned raft. This is beautiful. Now, what is, okay, pick up the crate and we got some decent stuff. Hey, whoa, 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 what? They sink, what? When you pick up the, <laughs> When you pick up the materials that are inside of abandoned rafts, they sink. So that's uh, that's real sad. So our abandoned raft is gonna sink to the bottom of the ocean. Goodbye, my friend. It was nice knowing you. Holy cow, oh no. It's starting to get a little choppy out here. You see those waves? Look at that, the waves are going over the top of our raft. Oh, that is horrifying. Holy cow, it's getting it's getting pretty crazy out here. This is very scary, actually. Look at how, <laughs> look at how far underwater my raft goes. It's my raft bridge. I don't know about this. I'm kind of scared. Okay, so I guess phase two of our plan here is to try and find another island. We should probably go like this direction, but I'm worried 
that if I start swimming, I'm gonna get lost. But if I start building, which I could do, I could just start building in some random direction and hoping to find an island, but I worry that the game is gonna explode if I build too many of these things in the wrong direction. So we kinda have to take a, a risk here. We can start building in this direction and just hope that we find an island. Oh my gosh, it's raining now? This is terrifying. Let's just, let's go for it. Since it's raining, it's it's a beautiful day. What What better day? to build a giant raft bridge connecting two islands than on a very stormy, rainy, and choppy day in the ocean. Just great idea, Ken. Great idea. Man, they did a great job of making you feel very, very little. Holy cow. Look at this. I'm under, I was, what? Oh my gosh, I thought that our entire raft was in the sky. It, it, it was. Our entire raft was just in the sky. Look at this. We're bouncing all over the place. I, I hope that we're still attached. Like I said, I still don't know if the raft bumping into the island will, you know, knock pieces of the raft off. I don't know. I have no idea. We could be just floating on a giant, like, raft bridge right now in the middle of the ocean. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. It's very scary out here. I don't like it. I want to go home. And every time I click, look at this. Look at this delay. And it's only getting worse. <laughs> it's kind of bad. I don't think the choppy water is helping this situation either. It's really not. Oh my gosh, look at how long it takes to place a single block. Watch, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click for you guys. It takes like an entire second. You just, it, it sticks for an entire second. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it is definitely getting worse. So I'm scared for the game and I'm scared in the game. It's a lot of scaredness going on right now. Please make it stop raining. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm just underwater now. That's great, love it. And the worst part of it all is that we're trying to find an island and I can't see anything. <laughs> it's so cloudy and rainy and splashy. I can't, I can't see a thing. I can barely see my hands in front of my face. This is just a terrible situation. So this is the storm that never ended. Yeah, it's been raining for like five minutes in game and uh, I really wish it would go away. I don't know, maybe we walked right past an island. I have no idea. I just continue in the same direction that we started in. And I still haven't seen any islands, shockingly, right? It's like I built a giant diving board. This is the world's biggest diving board. Could you imagine how many flips you could get off of this thing? Look at this, I'm underwater. I am now flying in the air. Yes, our raft was floating. It got launched in the air by the wakes in the ocean. It's insane. Look at this. This is, this is terrifying. Get me out of here, please. Make the rain stop. Click, wait. Click, wait. Click, wait. This, this is getting, this is getting scary on so many different levels. I don't like this. We've gone too far. Our mad science has taken this raft too far. It's out of control, but I'm determined. I will find an island. I don't care how many times I have to get dunked under the water. I don't care. I'm in it to win it. I'm determined. My survival means nothing. It's all about the giant raft bridge. That's all that matters to me now. I'm starting to think that I probably should have found an island first before going on this adventure. Probably not a great decision, but here we are, just building a giant diving board in the middle of the ocean. I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm gonna need a friend, a volleyball. I need a friend, a volleyball friend. Wilson, perhaps. Wilson, I need a Wilson in my life right now. Oh, is the rain? Oh, the rain finally stopped and I still don't see any islands anywhere. Let's try our binoculars. I don't know if these actually work to see beyond the fog, but I do not see any islands. Wait, is that something? You think that's something out in the distance? Well, let's go in that direction. Oh my gosh, look at how long. It takes. <laughs> oh, that is bad. That is very, very bad. Okay, so if I don't see anything here soon, I think we'll backtrack and just look around and see if we find any islands. And then if we don't find any islands by doing that, 
I think we'll just have to start a new game and maybe we'll be a little bit more uh, careful with how many raft pieces we place because I think that that's the problem is that we've just placed too many of these pieces in the ocean and the game is having a really hard time working with all this. So if we do it again and we kind of limit our use of raft pieces and find an island before we start building out into the middle of the ocean, maybe we'll have better success. But first, let's try this. Yeah, I don't see any islands, guys. Okay, let's head back. It'll only take a few days, don't worry. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Hey, has anybody seen my giant island raft? I kinda, I kinda lost track of it. Oh, just follow this road straight down for 100 miles. Okay, got it, thank you. The sun is going down which is bad because we won't be able to see in the dark. I suppose we could make ourselves another bed. Ah, fell off my raft. That's not good. Get back on my raft. <gasps> An island. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. We walked right past it like a long time ago too. <laughs> it's because of the, the storm. It made it so hard to see. Okay, so here's the question. If I chop off one of these pieces of raft, will it eliminate all those pieces from the game? Because I want them to go away and I wanna be able to build to that guy right there without all these extra pieces of raft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop. Oh my gosh, it was right there, right? This is where we're like right next to where we captured the previous, oh my gosh, the abandoned raft was right there and the island was right here. This, oh, oh, that hurts. Stupid storm ruined my plans, but at least it's here. So we can chop off this entire section of raft. We don't need any of this. Look, you could almost see the islands. You can almost see both islands. That's beautiful. Man, this game's real pretty. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here is yeah, chop off this right here. Oh gosh. Okay, destroying them is even more terrifying. And then you go away. Just disappear forever, please. It's not going away. That giant raft that we've created is just, it's just staying. Please float away, please. This is not good. Do I have to destroy each and every one of these little pieces? Well, this will only take like, four human lifetimes. Maybe if I chop it off into sections like that, maybe that's the way to do it so that the smaller sections of raft can float away. These pieces are not floating away. They're just, they're staying. They don't want to leave. Why? Okay. You know what? I'm going to go all the way back to where we started and uh, I'm going to sleep. And then when I wake up, I expect all of you, sorry, hit the mic. I expect all of you to be gone, all right? Okay, it is now daytime, and uh, I can't help but feel that there is still a very large section of raft just floating here and not leaving. You have not moved at all. What is wrong with you? You're not anchored. Maybe if I put a sail on it? I don't know, we'll try. I just want it to go away. Go, be free. Be free, goodbye. Let's see if that works. <laughs> It's not leaving. <laughs> the raft is not leaving. It's gonna stay here forever. Okay, well then we're just gonna have to do this. And it's gonna take a long time because every time I click, it takes like four seconds to build a piece of the raft. But this is the life that I've chosen. And this is all that matters to me now is building the giant raft bridge between two islands. We're almost there. It should only take me another, I don't know, 45 hours or so. Look at this, click. Yeah, it's like four seconds for each piece. It takes a long time. And I did this to myself. I did it to myself. If only I had seen the island, I wouldn't have had to build all of those pieces going who knows where and causing the game to slow down. It's my own fault. I can't believe that the game hasn't crashed yet. This is actually incredible because there's a lot of pieces of raft just aimlessly floating in the ocean right now. And it's staying alive. I think it's doing everything it can to stay alive, but it's staying alive and I'm impressed. Good for you, Raft. <laughs> You've managed to survive my mad experiment. And we are so close to the island. And then once we get to the island, we have to build around it, which 
Should take another 45 hours or so. So, no big deal. We got this. This is a crazy looking island. It almost looks like it's floating. <laughs> That's so weird. It's very cool though. So now, we need to build around it. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Oh my gosh. We are almost there. We've almost completed the circle of encasement on the island. This is a glorious moment. And then we have created the world's first ever raft bridge. Spanning the gap between two islands in the middle of the ocean. Incredible. Look at this. We've done it. And actually, we should explore this island. I haven't actually been on it. Oh, oh, we can't. Wait, how do we get up there? Do you have to build like a staircase in order to get on top of this island? That is actually really cool. Okay, we can do that, right? I hope we don't blow up the game, but let's make a staircase. I don't know, like right here? Go something like that, and then can I, can I, ah, please, please let me onto the island. I want to explore it, there we go. <laughs> That's crazy that you can't even get onto it without using a bridge, and actually to get to the very top, You'd have to build like a sequence of bridges or stairs or whatever you want to call them. That's still really cool. Okay, so let's head back to our starting island and just gaze upon the glory of this raft bridge that we've created. And also, actually, now that I think about it, bridges need to be safe. Can we put guardrails on the side? Yes, we can. And is it going to blow up the game? Possibly, quite possibly, but I want to make it look real real nice. This is a legitimate operation. We need to make sure that it's safe for any people who are using it, which most likely is only going to be me, but I want to be safe. Okay. So let's see if we can take this all the way back to our island and uh, make this bridge nice and safe. The nice part is, is that putting down these railings is not slow. This is the way it's supposed to be. Who would have thought? Now I'm only doing one side right now. And then I guess I'll just walk back and do the other side. Clever, right? Not really. But it saves me time because I don't have to go back and forth. The unused raft has not moved at all, has not budged. I don't understand it because when you're on a little raft in the ocean, you float around. You move around without even really realizing it. But apparently if it's too big or I don't know, maybe because it was at one point connected to the main raft. It's just not moving. It will not leave. Whatever. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I still managed to get this bridge completed, and I'm very happy about that. Oh my gosh, we can't see the other island anymore. I honestly didn't realize how far we had gone, but we went quite the distance. All right. Home sweet home. Check it out. It's our starting island. Who would have thought we'd ever make it back here again? This is... This is amazing. This was actually, it turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Admittedly, is a very roundabout way of getting back to the island. Because <laughs> look, we go this way. We like zigzag back to the island. We could have just taken a straight shot in that direction to get to the island. But, you know, it is what it is. I completely missed it. If only I had gone this way, I would have found it. Oh well, but there you have it guys. Our experiment actually worked. We were able to bridge two islands together using nothing but wood and plastic. It's incredible. The future is now. And look at this journey. My gosh, it takes forever to get back there. I'm not gonna walk all the way back there. My feet are tired. But guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Raft. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I want to see if you guys have any ideas that you want me to try here in creative mode. Because keep in mind, we have access to unlimited resources. So we can get into a lot of crazy shenanigans here in Raft with all the pieces and items that we have access to. So let me know if you have ideas for things that we can do here in Raft. Crazy ideas. I wanna hear them from you guys. But that's gonna do it. If you did enjoy this, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.